your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Saturday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Donick with a quick update of what's going on for the forecast from Saturday night and following. We are going to be seeing some possible heavy rainfall just around the area to the west of the Mid-South and then also seeing the possibility of some more chances for rainfall. may not be a deluge or a washout across the area as we get into the next couple of days, but we will be seeing again the potential for even more rainfall out there. Taking a look at the Almanac for today, 39 days and change under until the first day of autumn, so summer winding down, heading into the last 40 days or so, and continuing to see some very warm and muggy conditions across much of the Mid-South area. So not seeing too much in the way of cooler weather, but autumn is on the way, inevitably, as it always is. And again, looking at some cool weather out there, but definitely not for today. Temperature was just below normal, 90 degrees, the official high temperature for Memphis. Low temperature, just a bit above normal in the upper 70s. 92 is our normal high temperature for this time of the year. And fortunately, nowhere near the record high temperature, which was last said just a few years ago. Taking a look at how bad it could be for this time of the year, we again managed to hit about 90 degrees for a high temperature for today, but we managed to hit a lot warmer than that. The high temperature for the United States back out toward Death Valley again today, so about 30 degrees warmer out that direction. Rainfall in the Mid-South managed to pick up a fraction of an inch. That's the first rainfall we've gotten in nearly two weeks since August began, so it's been a very dry month so far. We're still ahead for the year, no question about that, and a decent amount of moisture again for the year that we got back in February and March, but we are still behind a pretty good, decent amount behind for a deficit for the month of August so far out there. Ultraviolet radiation, not that much today, about a 3 on the scale of 1 to 11, and looking at a 4 tomorrow, maybe a little bit more sunshine, but not seeing too much out there. Thanks to this storm system, Sitting down across the Gulf of Mexico, we'll be looking for more chances of showers and thunderstorms in and around the Mid-South area as this rotates a lot of moisture off of a very warm Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to give us, again, the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms into the course of the next several days. So if you have any plans for outdoors, Go ahead and keep the umbrella handy. Severe weather doesn't look to be a major concern at this point, but flash flooding could be, and also looking again at the potential of problems into the Mid-South where it comes to, again, heavy rainfall just west of the News Channel 3 viewing area. So we'll be monitoring that and seeing what goes on, but not really too much happening as of Saturday night. How much rainfall are we expecting? Well, the lion's share is going to be southeast Missouri and then back into around north-central Arkansas, northern parts of Louisiana, picking up about maybe three to six inches is more of rainfall between now and the rest of this week. Rest of the evening tonight. On the mild side, temperatures not really getting all that cool back into the mid to upper 70s to lower 80s for low temperatures. As we spin our way into tomorrow, we'll get some sunshine out there, which is going to help the temperatures warm up by just a little bit back into the mid to upper 80s to close to 90 degrees. So another very warm day coming up for much of the Mid-South and another day of plenty of humidity out there as well. There will be scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms, but once again, I think those are going to be holding off as we go into the morning hours, into the afternoon and evening. That'll be our best chance of more chances of showers and thunderstorms getting into the afternoon and evening. So if you have any out outdoor plans earlier will be better rather than later and then a warm evening coming up as we get into Monday getting back to school going to be on AM 730's Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh on Tuesday morning. Going to be talking about weather, have the forecast for you, and also going to be talking more about weather safety. You may have heard Dr. Marshall Shepard from the past president of the American Meteorological Society talking about weather at big sports venues. We'll be talking more about that and how you can stay safe when it comes to anything involving sporting events, knowing what to do beforehand, that's going to be something we'll talk about. That's Tuesday morning, starting at about 8 o'clock on AM 730. Want even more weather? Well, stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3's video weather blog, exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. That's going to be available at WREG.com. New edition coming up as we get into tomorrow. Rest of the forecast, again, going to be soggy, warm, and humid across much of the area. We'll have a complete check of your entire forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 if you're tuning in early, and if you're tuning in over Overnight, don't forget to join us on News Channel 3 Daybreak, which starts bright and early at 6 a.m. Sunday. From the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3 on air and online.